Hello, I am Dr. Wilhelmina, and I have a friend that's with me. Oh, <laughs> friend, your friend today. Please introduce okay. yourself, friend. Hey, everybody, it's Coach Felicia. Uh, yeah, my friend, I've graduated. I've been behaving myself. No, anyway. <laughs> hey, it's nice to be here. I'm so happy to be back again. Um, so, as always, thanks a lot for. I'm so. I'm really ha excited to to do this episode because this is. Uh, I think all of the episodes have been pretty good. You know, yeah. um, I know they've given me an opportunity to yeah. think about what happened in the experience. Uh, yeah. And so, yeah, yeah, good to be here. This is part six. Is it? Yes. Already? Six. Yes. Oh, wow. We got to six. Okay. Okay, cool. <laughs> so what are we talking about today? We are talking about the insecurity that developed for us in this project. And then the also trusting yourself. Mm -hmm. You know, we had those issues with questioning whether we were doing the right thing. Yeah. So, yeah, yeah. And I know for me, just talking about my insecurity, my real insecurity was focused towards, was I, was I good enough? Was I, the things that I were, I was doing to be a part, I came in positive, confident, like I had a little experience. Okay. I'm going to be okay through this. I'm just going to learn as much as I can. And it's going to be great. And then after a while I started being insecure and questioning whether I had the right subject, whether I was doing the right thing and being in this whole project. And so I want to talk about that. Yeah. So I, I, I say, keep going with that. So why do you think that you, what triggered it for you to, you know, what was the first thing that you realized or recognized that made you have that, you know, it's like that little feeling like, Ooh, I think at first it was because, I didn't have the time because I had to work mm -hmm. and the time, the time schedules were off because I was in Hawaii and y'all were on the mainland and it was just too far off for me to be there all the time when it was time to happen. And then the way that she was reacting to mm -hmm. me, that person that brought us in, how she was reacting to me in that, in that way. So it started being like, am, am I going to miss out? Am I going to lose something? Because I'm not there. Am I not good enough for this or whatever? Mm -hmm. And then um, I think when we started, especially when we started doing videos for the app. Yeah. Well, they weren't going to go on the app, but it was a practice for the app. That mm -hmm. stuff. You know, I had a problem when they started critiquing me, um, all the little things they thought I should be doing. And uh, I started thinking, I can't. I can't do what they want me to do. Mm -hmm. And um, so I started thinking maybe I just, I'm not good enough. Maybe I should just quit. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 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 Um, you know, and they were on LA time. They're, they're in LA. Yeah. I don't know that they're necessarily, I don't think they're there anymore. I think they're in the South now. Yeah. But, um, you know, it's like the, I, I think I felt some of what you were feeling too. I think there were so there were quite a few women, but there were some true, true gems that could yeah. just sit down in front of the camera mm -hmm. and spit it out. And it was like, wow, wow. Yeah. So I think part of it for me is, you know, you're, I'm really comfortable in things that um, I know how to do things that are, you know, you're doing on a regular basis. Right. Yeah. But then getting in front of the camera um, and even I'll say, even in us doing this, this is yeah. something that um, I, I always say that I'm really happy that you, you know, that we decided to do this because it gives me more experience in getting in front of the camera. I don't have a problem speaking on the phone or, you know, doing something like that. Right. Yeah. But it's like, I was really, uh, I would look at other, some of the other snippets. Yeah. And, wow. She's so good. I know. Oh, oh, they just pulled me, they pulled me into their clip, you know, and it's like, yay, good job. Way to go. Yeah. Um, and so I think I, I say all of that to say that it was the comparison, mm -hmm. right? Not in a bad way, but it was like, am I, can I, can I get to there? Right. And yeah. I believed I could, 
um, but I struggled with it. Yeah. Because it was outside of my comfort. Right. So, yeah. Or my place of comfort, I guess. Yeah. Yeah, so, there was one person that was just blew it out the park. Brilliant. Like, and, and doesn't even know that that's who they are. They talk the talk, but they're not walking the walk. They're letting it stay stagnant when they could be, I'm telling you, this person could be yeah. great. Yeah, I, I, yeah, I agree. I yeah. just from all of the videos I saw during yeah. the whole process, that one is still in my head. Mine too. Mine I, too. I can see the background. Yeah. I can see the background was like that, beautiful. It blended with her, the attire. Yes, and it was absolutely. really mm -hmm. She's wonderful. She could and have I her own talk show, you know. She could. I think she could. And I just don't know. I don't know. Yeah. 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 But, you know, I mean, yeah. <laughs> if she wants it, you know, who knows? She, could. Look up, she might. If be. she wanted, she could. She's that bad. Yeah. But she just, I know she knows cognitively she is. But maybe not in her heart does she feel really believe it. But she is. Yeah. She's but I, good. I think, I think that's interesting, though, because it's like I think that's one of those things that we all, uh, you know, there are parts of us that it's like you second guess, like it, even mm -hmm. in what we're talking about, you second guess, mm -hmm. like, OK, well, who am I to do? Yeah. I don't really. It doesn't feel right. And sometimes things don't feel right when you're starting something new. And although we know that. Although we know that, yeah, we still struggle with it. Yeah, you know, until you get past a certain, it's like oh, like when yeah. I see you and you're, you know, when you're doing posting your videos and things on like your social media platforms, and I'm like, wow, mm -hmm. oh my, and it's just it doesn't have to be long, right? No. But it's like you it's never, up. it's never long if it's me. <laughs> it's not <laughs> open. <laughs> yeah, but you're still you're still doing it, you know. So yeah. it's like yeah. so it's like trusting yourself, and yeah, that's where. I think I kind of found that, you know, when I think back to that time and I mean, the only reason we're really going back to that time is because we want to share this information. Otherwise sure. I'm not gonna, you know, I don't go and ruminate about it, no, you know? No, um, no. But when I think about that, I think about how I was starting to the internal dialogue that was starting to happen with me. And I'm like, Whoa, this doesn't, this doesn't feel right. And then when I would see it with other women and how she would critique them, um, in a negative way, it was yeah. like, it wasn't, uh, and not that you had to be coddled. I mean, right. Because we're right. not expecting to be like pampered through it, right. but to be right. able to give constructive criticism, you know, in a positive way, I think you right. can help somebody tweak what they're working on. Right. Yeah. In a more positive way. Yeah. Right. Don't knock them down. You don't have to knock them down to tell them what they need to change or what you feel they need to change you know give them that advice mm -hmm. and she was short and i think i think that was part of it too because like you could tell that they were frustrated yeah right and it's was. like oh why is she so snappy you know mine was what are you looking at oh yeah what are you looking at right, right. <laughs> like, yeah the camera the screen myself <laughs> and in this case, you, while I'm talking to you, I'm looking at you. Right? Yeah. Um, but then, Mina, it's like, do you ever think in going through that, and I think this is important as well for people to ask themselves, should they find themselves in that kind of a position or in that type of a, yeah, position, I guess, right? Is, because this is what I ask myself, like, where was that feeling coming from, right? It's yeah. like for me, uh, you know, growing up, you know, kids can be mean. Mm -hmm. Many of us have endured being bullied. And I think for me, it's like some of the things, like I went into the file cabinet, you know, that's why I call it. It's like in your brain, there's like a file cabinet. It's like, whoa, wait, wait a minute. That's it's supposed to be heard... locked. <laughs> right. It's like, no, no, no. We've heard something like that before. Come on, let's go through here. Let's find it. Oh, woo. Remember this? Okay, yes. this is same type of personality, same behavior, right? And I think that's what happened uh, for me. It's like it started triggering some things like, wait a minute, this doesn't, I've been here before or something like this and I don't like it. And yeah. I'm the big Felicia now. <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> it's that little me. I don't know. I mean, how did you feel about that? Did you, did you? Well, I can remember in high school, I don't remember what I was talking about, but one of our RAs, well, was it RA? Well, I don't know. I want to say they were called RAs. I don't really know why that's in my head, but I think we called them that. But one of the teachers had asked me to do a speech and I was excited and I was ready. I didn't even know this was going to happen. So I go, I'm in the auditorium. It was um, all the of our class there. It was the, the bleachers were full. Mm -hmm. And I go to speak and I'm talking. Mm -hmm. All of a sudden they start bullying, nagging, and you? saying things. Yes. And I'm standing there. And then before you know it, I was like, fuck this. I'm out of here. <laughs> I was like, here. I gave the mic to them and walked off. I was scared. And so I've always, I can tell you, even through my jobs, because the work that I do, I have to do trainings and briefings. Every job I've had, I've had to do it. But I can tell you, even to today, mm. I am still like, everybody's nervous. They get up, they're nervous when they speak at first. Mm -hmm. But mine is really internal. So I'm going through it. My heart's beating really fast. My heart's beating now as I talk about it, but it beats really fast. And then um, I forget everything I was going to say, you know, so I always have to have slides or something or, or, my, or cards in my hand. And I go back to that day I was in the gym at the, or it was a gym, not the auditorium. It was our auditorium at school was the gym. So go to the gym mm -hmm. and in the bleachers. I'm there again and everybody, and I had a suit on and I can remember everything. So, um, yeah, so it's, that's me. And so I had to learn, I got a mentor, someone that I saw that was a lot like me, but more comfortable speaking, or at least appeared to be right. Mm -hmm. So I had talked to him and, and he helped me. He helped me a lot. And it was two sessions. It wasn't even like we, he was mentored me for years or, or months. It was just two different sessions we had. And oh, it wow. was, yeah, that was it. And it was just because I can do it. I did have it. It wasn't that I couldn't do it. It was just, I was letting the nerves get the best of me. And my slides had I inherited them and they had a lot of mistakes on them. So that didn't help because people would see that. And yeah, so, um, yeah, mm -hmm. so I got better over time. Mm -hmm. And even now I still get just as nervous. It's just the insecurities. It's the yeah. insecurities that will always be there about speaking in front of people. This is easy. I can talk all day in front of this camera and nobody else is with me usually. I can say what I want, whatever. Really? But yeah. And mine is the opposite. What? I have no problem talking in front of a crowd. Yeah. But I think, and it's okay for me doing this here because you're here. So, yeah. I, you know, and even though somebody would, if she was looking at this, she'd say, look at that camera. But yeah. I'm looking at you. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm oh, at I'm, you. I, I let that go a long time mm -hmm. ago. Yeah. Either so you listen or you don't. Yeah. And the thing is, it's like, uh, yeah, I, I, I could speak in front of a a crowd, but like the camera and like looking, seeing me looking back, it's like, a, yeah. but also it's like when I used to do, when I was doing voiceover work, Yeah, um, I never like to listen to my own yeah. audio. Yeah. I don't, I, I, it's like, well, did you listen to it? It's like, no, 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 I don't want to listen to it. You can, yeah. you're the one, you're the studio guy. If you find the mistakes, you're getting paid for the studio time you fix it. Or you tell me where I need to repeat it, you know? So. I definitely agree with that. That, that I'm, When it comes to that, I don't want to hear my voice. Yeah, no. Yeah. What no, is that? No. What? What is that about, hearing your voice? I don't know. But you know what? I do know that there are a lot of uh, artists. I've heard other, like, musical artists, yeah. you know, who have said they don't like listening to, oh, wow. uh, like, in the car, or they, they don't yeah. like listening to their music. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not sure. That would be, I don't get that either. yeah. So, right. but yeah, I don't know. I think, um, yeah, the insecurity, um, the insecurity is huge. And I think yeah. when we have that insecurity, it's really easy for us to 
in a sense called prey. Yeah. Not, not in a sense. Let's just call it black and white, right? Yeah. Because there are people in the world, right? Not just this particular individual. There are lots of people yeah. in the world that they can see it. Yeah. They've been practic- this is something that they've been practicing their whole life, I think, yeah. you know, because mm-hmm. it was, I think, a coping mechanism for them, depending yeah. on what their childhood was like. Yeah. So if they can know in advance, they can be a few steps ahead, you know, yeah. and, you know, some of us are like, duh, 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 but they're like, already. Right. <laughs> they're like, hey, I got this. I'm going to take everything away, you know? <laughs> yeah. Um, so it's like, um, you know, just to, I just kind of wanted to balance it out like that, you know, but yeah, it's, and then the comparison, comparing yourself to others. Um, it, sorry, didn't mean to do that. Let's take that off. I bumped it. What did you ask? Somebody sending uh, my, you a message? No, my watch. I bumped it on the wrist and she, Siri started talking. So, oh, <laughs> yeah, I know. Right. Hey, Siri. But, <laughs> yeah. But no, I just, uh, yeah, the insecurity. And then it's like, you find yourself trying to do the, trying to get it down right. So I think what happens with that is you start to develop this, uh, this internal dialogue, right? Like what is wrong with you? Can't you get this? It's so simple. Everybody's saying it's simple. Well, not everybody, because I think we all had pretty good support for the most part. Every now and then you had some of the other ones in there that would want to throw two cents in. It's like, huh? Yeah. Wait a minute. No, 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 no. I thought I thought we were working. I thought she's the main one. She did correct them on that, though. I remember yeah, that. Yeah, she did. She While did. She was talking and somebody tried to, oh, uh-uh. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. No. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, but I also think that that was like her way of making sure that everybody knew that she was the one that was in charge, yeah. too. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, but, yeah, that perfectionism, you know, and trying so hard to get it just right. Right. Yeah. And it's like, even with us doing this, it's like, yeah, I got this thing behind me just just keeps waving. And it's like, we really don't care. I mean, I care, yeah. but I don't care. Yeah. Uh, what's important for me in this thing is, or in this episode or any of the episodes that we've done is that we're able to convey some of our experience, yeah. our experiences so that other people don't bump their head. You know, yeah. they're, they're probably going to bump their head somewhere down the line. I think it's like inevitable for most of us. Yeah. So. Yeah. Right, yeah. I have this area that I'm like, when it comes to movement, I can move <laughs> forward, I can move backwards, I can go a little this way or that way, but it's a little box for me. <laughs> Just stay yeah. in it. <laughs> oh, I keep bouncing, but yeah. yeah. And yeah. Um, I don't know. What else do we want to share with them today when it comes to the insecurity, though, that we felt? Well, you know, it's hard not to let people get into your head Mm. so that's a thing sometimes they do it accidentally sometimes it's intentional so (laughs) if you're in a situation where it's competitive which it was for us it was definitely competitive so uh, people really think about those things like i don't know I, i don't roll that way so the way i roll is i say this all the time i'm running my own race I'm not comparing myself to what other people are doing, but sometimes other people come into your space and try to throw you off. Yeah. And so for me, I'm not expecting that. I'm just like living my life, doing my thing. I'm not expecting anyone to come up and do anything or say anything that would do that to me. So I'm really like just doing what I have to do. But every now and then they get in there. Yeah. yeah, yeah, but I think that 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 was something that I really didn't like about it so much. Yeah, you know? it, I, I didn't like because I agree with you on that. I'm I'm kind of like that. I'm usually in my own little world. Um, like if I go and I do a five k, not to get too far off track here, but like if I do a five k, I'm not trying to be number one. I'm I'm covering the distance, and I challenge myself for. Yeah. Like the, if the last time that I ran the 5k was 32 minutes, my thoughts are, okay, let's see if we could do it in 31. Yeah. You know, but that's for me, right. Yeah. You know, it's not to outdo anybody else, you yeah. know? And so even when I've worked with, I don't know, I haven't worked with a lot of groups, 
Yeah. And I don't mind being in the groups, but for me, sometimes it's like having that that group dynamic. It, it you have personalities that are in there, and uh, sometimes people think that you're competing. And like you said, yeah. you're not competing. And you're not. <laughs> you're just, you're not. <laughs> yeah. So. Uh, no. Yeah, that was interesting. I was <laughs> very competitive when I ran track, and of course. Well, that's another thing. So when I when I would get up and have to train or brief people today as an adult or whatever, mm -hmm. um, when I was younger in college and doing track, even younger than that, when I step to that line, oh. the heart is racing. I'm anxious. You know, I'm just I'm ready to go. You know, I got all these movements going on. That's how I feel when I get in front of a crowd of people and have to speak. I don't care what it's about, even if I know the subject really well, it's like mm -hmm. I forget everything. And it's just that same feeling of stepping up to a line. Really? And, uh, yeah, it's the same. Wow. Wow. <laughs> but I find a way to make it work. But but what I was going to say is I was really competitive during that time. And uh, I still have a record at, co at my college, at my university. I still have a record. Um, for what? For what? What did you do? For high jump. It wasn't for running, but oh my for high jump. And um oh you know, my. It's like, yeah, I do. I still <laughs> have that record. And I was very competitive at that time and all the anxiety and everything. But these days I am just living my life and be trying to be happy, even when the, the negative stuff comes. I'm trying to push through it and still be happy and have a good life. And um mm -hmm. I'm not focused on trying to compete with anybody. Yeah. Yeah. But, I'm just because you know what? This is the other thing. I know whatever I put my mind to, whatever I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do, I'm going to do well. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to do my very best to do well. So I'm not, it's not me. Oh, how's she doing? How he's doing or whatever. I'm just doing my thing and mm -hmm. doing things I need to do for myself. Like right. I'm in school again. <laughs> yeah. but it's, there's a purpose to it. It's not just because, oh, I need to be forever in school because I, it is not easy at this age trying to do some memorizing of material. It's hard. And I have to memorize because there's a test at the end. There's a license at the end. So I have to do this. So, um, yeah, it's just, it's, mm. I just do what I need to do to get ahead, to do what I have to do to be do better. And so when I retire from my civilian job with the military, I'm going to, I'm going to use that. Wow. Yeah. I think you're a bit, I think you know a lot of that already, but this is like yeah. the technical part. Oh, yeah. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. This is the technical. So I can, yeah, I think, I think that's awesome though. But you know, I also think that, I don't know. I know I will be a life learner. Yeah. You know, I, I'm not going back to school after this. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Except if I want to do, um, now you're going back <laughs> Or something like that. Little one day classes or whatever. If I want to do something right. that's, that's um, higher level, then I will have to go back to school. But yeah. For now. Yeah. This is, this is really it. <laughs> yeah. So I don't. Um. I don't know. Um. You know, this is the. the I don't know. What you have any more that you want to share with us? Uh, maybe some takeaways. Well, I just think that that people the need to. I'm gonna tell you what you need to do right now. I normally not. You need to do this. No. I'm telling you now, you need to trust yourself. Oh, yeah. You can get advice from other people and get information that's going to help you get to where you want to go. But you really have to trust yourself and relax. Relax. <laughs> you got this. You yeah. Really, you got this. Just do it. And once you've done it once, you've done it twice, you've done it three times before you know you're just rolling through it. Now, you might still have that little anxiety thing like mm -hmm. stepping up to the line it might not go away you might have it for all your life but just remember practice makes perfect okay maybe not perfect but makes you better yes. practicing doing it um rep rep repetition mm -hmm. will help you even even with mem remembering things it, it just will come off natural and just relax and be yourself that's what i found that worked best for me after i was with the um mentor because what happened was i had a supervisor that used to correct my words mm. so 
I'd say, she'd say, how you doing? I'd say, oh, I'm good. You mean well, you know, that kind of stuff. So um, it really made me uncomfortable. I can tell you that that's the most uncomfortable I've been in any job was working with her. But it, would, it was like I was a kid again. Like now mm. I'm worried about what everybody's thinking. And, you know, she, she's so critical. But But what I found after doing this mentoring session is that just relax and be me. And I started doing it and I was fine. I was just being myself, using my own speech, not worrying about every single word I said, just comfortable. And then I got a friend that I worked with. She joined me and we did it together. And of course, it went really well. We played off each other and we didn't practice it either. We just each one took a slide, each slide, you know, we did our thing. And it worked really well once I started doing it with her. And then I started doing it again by myself. And I was able to just relax. And, you know, have a good time and get the audience involved and everything. And it was just different because because I had met with that person and I calmed oh, wow. down and be myself. Wow. Yeah. That's awesome. That is yeah. awesome. But I, yeah, it, it is. I mean, of course, I agree with you on that because, yeah. you know, we've talked about it in the past and, mm -hmm. you know, even present. Yeah. Is trusting yourself. And it's like there's a I don't know which. um what do I want to say? I don't know on which social media platform I have. It might be on my Facebook that I have a quote where I say the toughest job you'll ever have is, um, I think it's dismantling the beliefs, beliefs yes. that were never yours, you know? And it's like, like what you said, it's like people will give you tips and advice and all of this stuff and it's like as you continue to take it all it's okay to you know to hear it to appreciate the information that's being passed on but then you have to have some discernment with where you're going to where yeah. you're going to place that you know some of it you may not even need to to keep in your mental cabinet you know what i mean um and you you go based on i'm always talking about the body you know i'm gonna go there before yeah. we get <laughs> yeah, yeah and it's like and to feel what you feel in your body and it's yeah. like and there have been times as much as i talk about it there have been times where i have jumped the track on that yeah right and it's like and i i could feel it but it's like no 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 no. i'm gonna push through anyway i'm gonna do this anyway even though i'm feeling something different right mm -hmm. but like this doesn't it doesn't lie to you right it does lie, and it's like and and it takes a while sometimes to uh, to really understand that, you know, yeah. for, for a lot of folks, even folks who have been doing it for a while and they know it to be true, you know, mm -hmm. it depends on where you are mentally, what's happening yeah. in your life. There are so many variables that come into place, you know, yeah. when someone like the person that we experience shows up yeah, you know, and if they catch you in that position, uh, oh, wow. Yeah. yeah. It's like they catch you off guard, kind of like we say, catch you off guard. <laughs> Yeah. And then like linking, linking those thoughts with mm -hmm. that body, how your body's reaction, reacting and knowing, okay, oh, this is why that happens. Mm, yeah. This is what's going on with me. This is it. It's mm -hmm. connected, right? You don't always know what it is. You just know that it doesn't feel good. Yeah. But, I, and one thing about my mentor, when I picked him, I was thinking about, I think what I was worried about is I didn't want people to think, okay, bear with me. I didn't want people to think I was stupid. And I know I'm not stupid, but that's the cognitive part. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, you go back to those memories and then it's, you're stupid then, right? Mm -hmm. So um, one of the things I found was that this guy, when I've seen him brief, he was charismatic. He wasn't proper, but he spoke well. And I thought, so he was a Q also, um, an Omega from the uh, fraternity. And he <laughs> had swagger, you know, he was just, and I'm just like, okay. <laughs> yes has come from a background probably from like me, but he's just comfortable, right? And and good at what he was doing. And so that's how I chose him. 
my boss mm -hmm. kept telling me because there was this guy that had um, retired from the Air Force and he was doing well. He was making moves through the command. He was rising. And she's like, maybe you should have him as a mentor. I was oh. like, mm -mm. Mm -mm. <laughs> no, I'm going to do what I want to do. And I'm going to do what's best for me. And I asked this man, can you mentor me? And um, yeah, after two sessions, that was it. Not that I don't need a mentor at any other time, mm -hmm. but for that particular issue, mm -hmm. it was perfect. Oh, and wow. it helped me. And yeah, I'm, I'm just saying, you know, it's good to listen to the advice people give you. And if you can implement it into your life and it works, great. But mm -hmm. sometimes you got to think about who you are and what works for you, mm -hmm. how you can make this better. But at the same time, it's got to work for you. That guy that was in the Air Force, just because we were both in the Air Force and he retired, we both retired, didn't mean that he was right for me. Right. So, yeah, right. this other man was perfect. So I just want to yeah. you have to think about it. Don't just run around doing what everybody's telling you to do, hopping from this, hopping from that. Think about mm -hmm. your situation and where your where your deficits are and where you think you could use the help. Yeah. No, no I agree. I agree yeah. 100 percent on that. You know, because it's like it's like also, you know, uh, I, I'm just going to take it to like when you decide to find a coach, if you find a coach, yeah. whether it's for becoming more fit or weight loss or like mm -hmm. you're stuck in some spot in life and you can't get out of it. It's so important to have that conversation and to pay attention to what you're feeling, even when you're talking to that coach, right? Because mm -hmm. the coach can be in the best of shape. They don't have to be in the best of shape, but they could have all the knowledge, right? But paying attention to how you're feeling when you're talking to that person and then making a decision. And there's no coach, well, there are yeah. a lot of coaches that will put the pressure on, but it's like, uh, if they put the pressure on, then maybe that's a sign for you to step back, right? Because yeah. when you're ready, it just, and it's the personality, the personality, you, it needs to like, you need to mesh with each other, right? You know, because you need to be ready and willing to buy what they're selling and you're going yeah. to do what it is that you're coming to them and they're going to, they're what they're offering you as well, right? right. So it's like, it's a, a get mix. So yeah, no, I that's great. I'm excited that you. I can't do anything with anybody that I think is judging me. If you are judging me, anything you say, anything that comes out of your mouth mm -hmm. is not going to be useful to me. Like the hardcore? Yeah. You yeah, I'm not, I'm not able to deal with that because that's part of something that is inside of me that when I see people do posts or, or uh, videos and it's just a total judge. Now, if it's a jokey, jokey joke, okay. But mm -hmm. when they're judging, mm -hmm. I'm done. Yeah. I yeah. can't do anything. Um, but with the exception of um, the election. <laughs> ah, no. We're not going there, but. We're not going there. With the exception of that. <laughs> I yeah. can't it. <laughs> I think we, I have, we have that all over social media right now. Yes. And I am stereotyp stereotypical. So whatever you think I, I think or who I, that's it. That <laughs> Let's just be real. I fit the stereotype. <laughs> you know, I can't talk about those kind of things anyway because of my job. Oh, right, right. So, yeah. but I have a small window now where I can be more open about it because I'm not a super, I'm still a supervisor, but there's no election. It's done. Yeah. But yeah. then once I get, you know, once he, he gets in, then I have to shut it off. Yeah, that might. That might not be, I don't know. I want to say that might not be a bad topic down the line. I know? don't know. But I think, uh, I, I, I think that uh, there's I'm so, there's so much. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, there's, there's so many, just the emotions right now are just so, you know. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. I right now. Cause no, 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 no. It's not, I'm not even... Most I'm saying time. that's why it's like, you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I said stereotypical. If you think it's true, stop. 
<laughs> I'm just full disclosure here. <laughs> yeah. <sighs> yeah. So. But okay. But yeah. So um, insecurity. Yeah. Well, up something some tips from us uh what do we say trust yourself trust yourself yourself. listen to your body that gut feeling if it's not the gut it's just a feeling somewhere in your body it doesn't have to necessarily be in your gut Mm -hmm. Uh, it could be your heart space yeah that's telling you pass this one up Mm -hmm. don't do it right a little whisper Mm -hmm. mentally in your ear and you're like whoa and that's part of your research Mm -hmm. paying attention yes Pay attention and listening to and for what's not being said. Yes. Yes. What's missing? Mm-hmm. Because our, our project was missing. <laughs> there was a lot of talking around it. And finally, when it was talked about, yeah. Still, yeah. still no real results. Some mm-hmm. cartoon pictures. Yeah. But nothing real. No. So. And then they would, well, anyway, that's a whole nother thing. Another so, subject. Yeah. <laughs> another they, would jump, they, they would jump. <laughs> they were jumping all over the place to different yes. things. Yes. So, but yeah, yeah. Trust yourself. Pay attention to your body. Uh, when it comes to uh, comparison, and I know I don't know exactly the quote, but you know, it's like comparison is the, is that is the, the joy the, thief. The thief of joy. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So y'all know, you know what I mean. I um, think, I'm just saying, I think it is. I think it is. <laughs> Something yeah, like comparison that. Comparison is a choice, yeah. But it is, and it's like, even if we don't have the quote right, it's like, think yeah. about it. When you're comparing, does it steal your joy? Yes. Yeah. Because you're busy comparing, so you can't even feel the joy that you have. And you so know, nobody like can be you. You got to be you. Yeah. Yeah. And, 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 you, and you really... You really are special. I, I know I could be in La La Land right now, but I don't think I am. This is something in the way that no, I kind of go through. I think everybody <laughs> has something to offer this world. I really do. Yeah. I think everybody, you are a gift. You are a gift. And it's uh, being willing to recognize or see it yeah. without the input of everyone else telling you what it's not and what it is, right? Yeah. Um, that's, that's when you, you see, it's like, wow, I'm not so bad. I'm actually pretty good. Yeah. Pretty good. You know? Uh, so yeah. Recognizing that you don't have to be jealous of anybody. No. And it's like, if you find yourself being jealous of someone, ask yourself why. Yeah. Why? Why? Exactly. Why? You know what, what, I mean, it's, and, and it could really be when you're feeling that feeling of jealousy. Mm-hmm. It could be that there's something about that person. Just trying to switch it around, where it's like, what is it about her that I like? Yes. Look at the what That's you like you about admire. her, him, or whoever. I mean, it could be anybody, right? Yeah. What, yeah. what do I like about them? You yeah. know, what what is, what can I learn? Yeah. As I recognize what I like about them, not to necessarily copy it or anything, because uh, you're gonna have your own, your own twist. Uh, yeah, your own style twist about it. Yeah. You know, so uh, just be grateful. Be grateful for for what you have. And uh, most importantly with this session, though, it's like, um, yeah, we go back. I go back to trusting yourself and the insecurity. You'll build on it. You'll build Mm -hmm. on it. Just do small things. Start uh, putting in a little bit of work, looking for information on it. And and I will tell you, if you, uh, you know, like you with your mentor, right? Mm-hmm. I'm going to say hands down, and this is not me trying to, uh, what do you call it, put a plug in or anything. A coach, a mentor, sometimes, many times, I think, if you find the right one and the one that works for you, it, it's a game changer. Mm-hmm. It really yeah. is a game changer, right? Yeah. Because, and, and, and you don't have to have a coach forever, right? right. Like you went twice. Right. You go, you work with this coach. And if they're able to, if you guys click and you've told them, this is what I struggle with or whatever the case may be, you guys got to work with that. It could be two sessions. It could be one. Yeah. You know, it may be six, you know, who knows? It all depends, you know, where you are and how good the fit is with you guys. And if you're doing the the work that you're supposed to do, you know, whatever kind of, I don't know, homework assignments or whatever your coach gives you, but yeah, it is it, invest in yourself. If yeah. you're being challenged in some areas, invest in yourself. Yeah. 
it's a game changer. It is. It really is. Mm -hmm. It was for me. So yeah. So I that was new. I didn't know that. That was new. So oh, I, oh yeah. I have to talk to you about that more. Yeah. Sometimes stuff comes out because I'm I'm pretty open and I'll talk about whatever. Not yeah. everything, but some things. <laughs> hey, guess what? This is where I struggled. You might be struggling there too. It's okay. Mm -hmm. Get help when you need help. Yeah. Yeah. But look for, yeah. listen to, <laughs> listen for. <laughs> yes, definitely. Just the last reminder. Yeah. Listen definitely. for that. So we'll be back again with session seven. And we'll talk about that when we get there. <laughs> well, thanks for joining us, everybody. I hope you, whatever you can use from this. And as always, if you have any questions, feel free to add to the comments. And uh, keep your chin up and trust yourself. Share with others. Yeah, absolutely. Thank you. Bye. Bye. <laughs>